the aim of this course is give give you a really good overview of the problem of antibiotic resistance, starting at a very basic level. But uh, I'm assuming that you have very different backgrounds. And so some of you have had a lot of biology, some of you very little. Um, same with the other topics that we're going to discuss. So we're going to start very simply, but then we're going to ramp up and give you modern um, information about the problem of antibiotic resistance. In addition, this is a big multidisciplinary problem. In other words, this is not simply a biology problem or a chemistry problem. This is an ethical problem, it's an economic problem, it's a political problem. And so for that reason, we're going to have teachers from lots of different fields here telling you about the problem of antibiotic resistance and potential solutions. So to start, I'm your first teacher today and next week. Uh, I am a microbiologist. I'm at the Department of Chemistry and Molecular Biology here at GU. I work just across the road here. I'm also part of the Center for Antibiotic Resistance uh, Research, which is uh, how we got started on this course. All the members, uh, or all the teachers will be members of the center. I study bacteria. I'm a microbiologist. I'm the course leader, and what I'm going to cover is the basic biology and genetics of the problem of antibiotic resistance over this week and next. Overall, so this week, I'm going to talk about antibiotic resistance in general and bacteria. I'm going to talk about bacteria and cell cycle. Next week, I'm going to start talking more about antibiotics themselves and how antibiotic resistance can spread. Uh, in two weeks, you're going to have Joachim Larsson is going to talk about the environment, environmental pollution of antibiotics, and their use in livestock. Then uh, Morton is going to talk about drug development. He's a chemist. And Christian is going to talk about ethics, the ethics of antibiotic um, use and um, misuse. Then we have a medical doctor, Gunnar, who's going to come and talk about the clinical problems of antibiotic resistance. We have uh, Frederick is going to talk about economics. And Bjorn is going to talk about politics. And then at the very end of the course, I'm going to tell you more about CARE, the Center for Antibiotic Resistance, and some new research that has come up in the recent year or so, some new approaches.